Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through depth first search. So previously in depth first search, we used a queue, right? So here we will be using stack to implement it. Okay. So basically this is really easy when compared to depth first search, sorry, breadth first search guys. There you need to visit each and every word text, which is adjacent and those all things. But here you will, sorry, but here you will be going in terms of depth. So here, if there are multiple paths, Previously from here you used to visit this and this one after the other but here from here if you select this from here you will be going to this like a particular path you will be continuing till the end and if there is no path from there you will be returning back like it goes in depth and if there is a solution it will be going in, in, in only and until it finds an issue or a loop then it will return back okay so you can select any vertex as starting visit one x adjacent vertex visit one y adjacent vertex if not found come back and continue until you visit all the vertices that's it so initially you will be visiting a vertex x so assume that the vertex x's adjacent is y now continue with y's adjacent if there is no adjacent return back else continue in that way so this is a quite easy algorithm guys so depth first search of vertex v initially visited v is equals to one for all x adjacent to v if x is not visited do depth first search from there so you'll be going interiorly like you'll be going in terms of depth like that step by step step by step okay okay so if you take a small example here one or two three four the same graph we have taken and now we took the starting point as four okay okay so from four assume that so this is just an assumption guys there is no rule like you should select the greater value or lesser value or anything you can select anything so I visited this one. So now I traveled till here. So from here I can go to multiple paths. So I assume that I took this path. Okay. So again I took this path. So again I took this path. Again I took this path. After that I took this path. Okay. But 8 is already visited right. From here if I want to go to 8 but 8 is already visited. So from start I am trying to visit new vertices only. 4 to 8. 8 is not visited. 5 is not visited, 2 is not visited, 1 is not visited, 3 is not visited, 7 is not visited, 6 and 7, I can go to 6 also, but I went to 7, but 8 is already visited, so I need to move back, is all, is all vertices at 3 visited, 6 is not visited, so I will be visiting 6, so this is the depth first search of the particular graph from 4, so even if you assume the same example, I will be giving some more results also, the same graph could give multiple results based on the path that it is following so assume the same graph guys i have just drawn it roughly okay so assume that i went up here again here so here so there could be multiple paths guys okay so two will not be visited i'll be moving back so this is also a path like depth first search only so in this way we will be having multiple paths in depth first search so i hope everyone got a clear idea on depth first search and breadth first search okay so in the next lecture, we'll be starting with the divide and conquer methods, guys. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.